All right, y'all, we're going to have a little fun here. I thought, what better way to bring in the new year than to have a new rankings? This is going to be my top 30 rankings for 2023 fantasy football. And keep in mind, these rankings are going to change quite a bit. Nothing here is set in stone. I'm not going over stats. I'm just going over first overall impressions, what I thought about these players in the 2022 season and why I believe they are ranked uh, currently right now in the top 30 for me. Let's go ahead and get up into it. The first guy we're going to be talking about is going to be Najee Harris. Najee Harris came into the league and he just wasn't really doing much uh, in the beginning of, of 2022 as he started getting acclimated to the offense. The offense was kind of getting tailored to him, fighting off Jalen Warren for some type of playing time. Najee Harris started to pick it up with 20 plus carries a game towards the end of the season and into the fantasy playoffs. Uh, that's why I think, I believe he's going to be at number 30 for me right now. He does have a possibility of even raising up a little bit more, but we're going to have to see how that goes. But right now, Najee Harris is at number 30. Now coming at 29, I'm going to go ahead and say Josh Jacobs. At the beginning of the season, Josh Jacobs, they, we didn't even know if he's going to be on the Raiders team. They, they were thinking about getting rid of him or whatever. We had uh, Zamir White coming in right behind him. Could be the guy who's taking over Josh Jacobs' role. And then all of a sudden, he just took over. He was dominating football games week in and week out. You could depend on Josh Jacobs, and he was a really good back. Now with Derek Carr maybe not being back, is this going to be Josh Jacobs' team? And is he going to be the ball carrier? We don't know. That's foreseen, you know, for 2023. But as of right now, I have him down as my number 29 overall player. Now, number 28, we're going to go ahead and just say T. Higgins. T. Higgins, a lot of people think he's the second fiddle there in Cincinnati, but he's really a man on a mission. I mean, when Jamar Chase is either out with an injury or whatever the case is, T. Higgins steps up as a bona fide number one wide receiver. And even when Chase is in there, T. Higgins can still get you over 100 yards receiving in the game. Joe Burrow loves slinging the ball all over the field. That's why I have T. Higgins ranked here at number 28. And 27, I'm going to have his partner in crime right here. Over here at the running back position is going to be Joe Mixon. I like Joe Mixon. I think he's got a little bit of an injury problem for me in most weeks, but relatively he stayed healthy this year. Um, but we get our year in and year out, you're not really sure if he's going to be there for all the games for you or not. But I have him here. I think he's somebody you can rely on. Uh, Samaji P. Ryan is his backup, but Samaji doesn't get any work if Joe Mixon's healthy. Joe Mixon, get, he takes all the carries away. So Joe Mixon will be number 27. And the forgotten man at number 26 for me is going to be Calvin Ridley. A lot of people really forgot him. He, he rode off. And two years ago, he got hurt uh, for most of the season. Last year, he was uh, suspended for the whole season, or should I say this year, suspended for the whole season because of his gambling problems. But he got traded to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You guys are seeing what Christian Kirk and Jay Jones is doing over there. Now you got Calvin Ridley, a bona fide number one wide receiver. Christian Kirk probably going to move over as the number two wide receiver. Calvin really should be lights out. Trevor Lawrence coming into his own. Travis Etienne starting to be a good running back. Evan Ingram at the tight end spot. The Jaguars are loaded, and not a lot of people are thinking about him. I think Calvin really is good. He's going to creep up my top 30. You never even know. He may even rise into my ranking as the offseason progresses. Next on this list, at number 25, we're going to go with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, again, took a huge leap forward as far as fantasy football goes. And as far as the NFL goes, he's leading his team to the best record in the NFL right now. Now, and Jalen Hurts is one of the reasons why he's got a very high floor with, with rushing abilities. He can run the ball, and sometimes he's the main ball carrier in any given week. And he's also shown that he can throw for 250 yards, maybe even throw up to the closer to the 300 yards now with A.J. Brown. He's got two of the best tandems in the league with Devonta Smith and A.J. Brown on the team. Jalen Hurts is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. I mean, you can't go wrong when you're drafting Jalen Hurts. This year, you may be drafting quarterbacks a little bit earlier than what you normally used to doing, but times are changing. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and move over to number 24. I'm going to say DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins missed the first six seasons due to performance-enhancing drugs. He was suspended. He came into with Kyler Murray, and he was... He was beasting out. He was putting up some solid, solid fantasy numbers um, for you week in and week out once he was back on your roster. DeAndre Hopkins is still a good receiver. He's got the speed. He's got the hands. He's got the route running. I think he's going to be a really, really good uh, wide receiver in 2023. And we'll see how that goes. Next on the list at number 23, we have Josh Allen, another quarterback. Josh Allen has a high floor. I'm telling you, just with his rushing ability alone, his passing, 
I mean, you know, not the best or Patrick Mahomes like passing, but he can get the ball down the field. He's got some good capable wide receivers. Josh Allen, again, another quarterback that's going to be on my board. Two of the three quarterbacks that's actually on my in my top 30 right now. Uh, number 22, we got Tony Pollard sneaking in here. I foresee Ezekiel Elliott probably be either A, off the Dallas Cowboys, or B, he's going to be having some type of limited role, and Tony Pollard should be that number one running back. He looks good. He looks a lot better than Ezekiel Elliott. He gets less carries right now and looks even better. He's young. Younger, he's got more more juice in him. Tony Pollard is going to be the beast. I'm telling you, Tony Pollard, 2023. He, you want you're going to want to draft him. He's definitely in my top 30. You never know. He might even rise on my board if Ezekiel Elliott either gets cut or traded. That now number 21. We're going to talk about Nick Chubb. Chubb doing amazing things right now and could even be better next year if Kareem Hunt ends up leaving the team. Nick Chubb. He's a beast. This dude gets plenty, plenty carries. Deshaun Watson should only get better. I mean, he's he came back from, from not playing for a few years. I mean, that's why Deshaun Watson's looking so bad. Nick Chubb's right there. Nick Chubb could be a stellar, stellar running back for you. And you can get him pretty much at a discount. He's not really going in, in the top round at all. You can probably swoop him up in the second round and be solid. Nick Chubb behind that off the line. Hopefully Watson gets a little bit better. Amari Cooper out on the outside. I mean, they've got the weapons to be good. Nick Chubb's definitely a solid running back you want to get your hands on. Let's go into the next guy. We're going to go at number 20, which is going to be the last quarterback that's in my top 30. That's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes doesn't have the rushing floor as Jalen Hurts or Josh Allen, but he throws the ball a lot. He, he throws a lot of touchdowns. He doesn't need Tyreek Hill. The dude is phenomenal. They, they just want him to do everything week in and week out. You can depend on Patrick Mahomes if he is your starting quarterback. Set it and forget it. Don't worry about anything else. You don't even need to back up. Patrick Mahomes is your guy. That's why he's ranked at number 20 right now for me. Coming down at number 19, we actually got the rookie for this year. It's going to be Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker took over for Rashad Penny when he got hurt, and he was looking good. Ken Walker, I mean, as long as Geno Smith can keep progressing as a quarterback, he's looking really good and phenomenal right now. They've got the weapons on the outside, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. I think Ken Walker is going to be a phenomenal running back being in this sophomore season. He's going to be somebody you can set, set it and forget it. Week in, week out, Kenneth Walker should be your guy. He may even rise on my board. We're going to see how it goes. Just check on the offseason, how we're going, and things are going to be moving all over the place. I'm going to be adjusting rankings based on the news, based on the offensive line, based on the draft. There's a lot of things that's going to affect my rankings, but we're going to see how it goes throughout the offseason. But Ken Walker right now, definitely uh, at, at number uh, 19 for me right now. So number 18, we're moving on to Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley was absolutely phenomenal this year. He probably should be a little bit higher in my rankings right now, but I'm kind of being a little bit still right now. Is he going to be with the Giants? I'm pretty sure they're going to re-sign this guy i mean it's saquon barkley he is the entire offense but heaven forbid the league if saquon barkley ends up in another team like let's say i don't know the vikings i mean they that'd be great get rid of dalvin cook he ain't doing nothing put put saquon barkley on the vikings on that offense sayonara i think that offense is going to explode but that's just kind of a little bit of here nor there but it can go into any team that really needs a a running back to be stellar week in and week out saquon barkley would shoot up my rankings but he did phenomenal this year he's one of the top running backs in the league right now he showed that he can stay healthy for an entire season he did really well that's why he's at number 18 right now for me moving on down to number 17 we've got jalen waddle jalen waddle did phenomenal with tua uh, tagalailoa coming over uh as the now starting running back and then we got Tyree Kill coming over from the Chiefs. And all, all Tyree Kill did was just open up more plays for Jalen Waddle. So Waddle did phenomenal. He caught a lot of balls. He was very solid for you fantasy wise in 2022. And I believe 2023 is going to be just as good for him. Uh, now we got 16. Boy, the mighty has fallen. I have Devontae Adams here. And Devontae Adams could possibly even drop even lower, depending on what happens here. Uh, they, Derek Carr, he came over with Derek Carr. And Derek Carr is probably not going to be on the team in 2023. And I know Adams is going to be disgruntled. Adams is going to want to go with his buddy Carr. But if he ends up having to stay on the Raiders, who knows? Is it going to be Sidham is going to be the quarterback? They're going to have to draft either a rookie quarterback, somebody to come in. Devontae Adams isn't going to have a quarterback good enough like we're used to. He doesn't have that Aaron Rodgers type quarterback anymore. He's already fallen off some types of some games. He didn't have any points some games. He did phenomenal He just doesn't have that consistent quarterback play for me to, to put him in the top 15 for me uh, That's why I put him right outside the top 15 at number 16 But we'll see how the offseason goes We'll see where he ends up if he ends up playing who's his quarterback gonna be and then we'll adjust the rankings accordingly Let's go ahead and get to the top
top 15 now at number 15 is going to be a probably a surprise to some people but Ramondre Stevenson this guy came pretty much out of nowhere took over the job from uh, Damian Harris in New England and this guy is a beast he even fumbled the ball a couple weeks ago and Bill Belichick said it's all good. He normally takes really good good control of the ball. He was covering it up. It was just an accident. Bill Belichick benches people for fumbling the ball. Just ask Damian Harris. So Ramondre Stevens has definitely got the 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 the, the backup from Belichick. I think he's going to be phenomenal. He's going to be the number one running back. I think Damian Harris is going to be gone. There's going to be nobody even trying to come at on these kind of touches for, for Stevenson. He's going to be the main man for the Patriots. That's why I got him at 15. And 14 would be the number one overall player from 2022, and that's going to be Jonathan Taylor. Boy, he has fallen down a little bit. He had Matt Ryan at quarterback. That didn't work out too well. Um, he needs better quarterback play. They're stacking the box against Jonathan Taylor, and he's got no, no room to run. They need to better that offensive line, better that quarterback play, and maybe he can rise a little bit in my rankings. But as of right now, Jonathan Taylor, he's not in there in the top 10 anymore for me. I mean, everybody had him as the number one player coming in this year. Boy, people were disappointed. He was a huge bust in 2022. I say, let's just have a little bit of caution in 2023. At 13, another wide receiver that I'm going to admit I was completely wrong. I had Amon Ross St. Brown as a bust. I thought DJ Chark was going to take a lot more uh, uh, reps from him. I thought the rookie uh, Williams was going to come in and take a lot of the reps from Amon Ross St. Brown. But this guy, he's a beast. He's a baller. He can play. And that's why I have him at number 13 right now. He might even be able to creep in maybe a little bit higher than that. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But when I think that rookie comes in, uh, Williams is going to be the number one wide receiver, not Amon Ross St. Brown. We'll see how that affects uh, him and Jared Goff going forward. Now at the top 12. At number 12, we're going to have CD Lamb. CD Lamb. This dude's a beast. I mean, him and Dak Prescott can 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 really really light up the scoreboard if they really want to he's got all the talent in the world uh, he wears that number 88 for the cowboys for a reason i mean he's got the history there he can play he's good i got him at number 12 nothing else to say about this guy number 11 we're going with stefan diggs stefan diggs had a lot better season probably in 2021 than he did in 2022 uh 22 kind of regressed just a little bit but that's okay. I think that Josh Allen just kind of sharing the ball a little bit more than hyper targeting Stephon Diggs. Uh, and that kind of hurt his value a little bit. So for that reason, I probably dropped him out of the top 10. But Stephon Diggs still a stellar wide receiver. I would love to get him in my lineups. Uh, but it's just somebody, you know, somebody, it's just, you know what you're going to get out of him. You know, it's, he may give you a lot of boom game or he may give you a high floor game. Either way, he's going to give you something that you're going to be proud of. So let's go ahead and go to number 10. It's going to be Travis Etienne. This guy has come back from injury and he is beasting with his old college quarterback trevor lawrence and like i said next year they're only going to get better adding calvin ridley they never get through the draft you never know what this team is going to be capable of they're young they're explosive they're athletic and they can move the ball travis Etienne can catch the ball like no one else he's going to be a solid fantasy running back an easy 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 top fantasy running back next year now at number nine travis kelsey old old and true i'm telling you everybody's like don't draft your tight end too early Travis Kelsey is almost like drafting another wide receiver. The dude, he puts up points week in and week out. He's the only tight end that you can really depend on. Even the, the likes of Mark Andrews and stuff, it just, they just fall off. Travis Kelsey, he doesn't fall off. Him and Patrick Mahomes has some type of connection that um, they go back and forth. You know what you're getting out of Kelsey when you draft him. So I have Kelsey at number nine. I see him actually going in the first round this year. Uh, last year, I probably had him at the very top of the second round this year. I think he's definitely going to be a first round pick. Uh, coming in at number uh, number eight, we have Cooper Cup. Now, Cooper Cup, he did pretty good with Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford ended up getting hurt. Now, Baker Mayfield's in there. Cooper Cup also got hurt this season, but Baker's looking really, really good. Either way you go, I have Cooper Cup still at number eight. I know a lot of people have their rankings probably a lot lower on Cooper Cup, just based on saying, I don't know who the quarterback's going to be. It may not be Matthew Stafford, but Cup has the ability of route running to get open for anybody and as long as they can find them he should be a good wide receiver for fantasy football i have at number eight there's a possibility if, if let's say you know stafford doesn't come back and they don't keep baker mayfield somebody else i could drop cooper cup down a couple spots but either way you look at it i think cooper cup's gonna be good for your lineups uh, so the next guy at number seven we're gonna have is gonna be AJ Brown. AJ Brown came in, got traded over from from the the Titans, and he beasted with his old friend Jalen Hurts. He was going down the field over and often. I mean, 
he's somebody you can set it and forget it. He has some really nice games uh, for fantasy this year, and I expect him to do the same thing in 2023. So definitely uh, make sure you try to draft this guy and pick him up if he slips in the draft whatsoever, especially maybe even late first round, early second round. He might be able to slip into your draft with some of these guys. Go in here and swoop him up. Now we're going to the top six at number six. We're talking about Jamar Chase. What the definition of a boom type of player is, is Jamar Chase. Him and his old college quarterback, Joe Burrow, lighten up the scene. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong when you're starting Jamar Chase. This guy, he's going to give you that solid production week in and week out. Even with, with Higgins on the field, Joe Mixon on the field, it doesn't matter. Jamar Chase can pop a 60-yard touchdown bomb like nothing. And that's what you want when you're looking at these top six. You want these guys that can, that can hit pay dirt very quickly for you. Jamar Chase is one of those guys. Number five, another guy that he's no stranger to hit and pay dirt. And that's going to be Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill coming in number five. Playing with Tua, people's like, oh, he doesn't have Patrick Mahomes anymore. He actually slipped probably the mid of the second round last year. And Tyree Kill came booming. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. Even in the offseason saying, oh, Tua's arm isn't strong enough to, to be able to throw Tyree Kill. He's underthrowing him. Nah, we've seen this year Tyree Kill is a beast. I mean, a lot of, I think he is going to be uh, drafted really, really high next year. He's going to be one of the main guys uh, on people's teams. That's why I have him in the top five here. Um, and then we're going to move over to number four. <coughs> now we're going to move over to number four. Talk about Austin Eckler. Eckler keeps doing it week in, week out. It doesn't matter how big or tall or, or, or fast or slow you are. Austin Eckler, he's a tiny, fast, ball carrying, pass catching, touchdown getting kind of guy. And he's doing it year in and year out right now. And I, I got to have him in my top four. Austin Eckler is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. I see him being drafted extremely high, probably the, the, the top half of the first round in 2023. Um, we'll see how things go in the offseason of the draft. But if Austin Eckler is going to be the only running back for the Chargers, you got to get him in your lineups and on your team. I mean, he's just somebody that you'd love to have and you can definitely depend on. Now we're going at number three. It's going to be Justin Jefferson. This guy is phenomenal. What he did this year, man, you can't even put it into words of the things that he was able to accomplish. I mean, he was breaking records left and right. The dude was catching the ball, it seemed like, for 600 yards a game. I mean, this guy was phenomenal. If you had him on your team, you probably chased him all the way up to a Super Bowl for your team. Who knows? Uh, number two, Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey coming over to the 49ers and actually, you know, he said, bye, Elijah Mitchell, kick him out of there. And now he's a, he's a beast for a good offensive line on a good running team. Who knows what the quarterback situation is going to be? Is there going to be Brock Purdy? Is it going to be Trey Lance? We don't really know. But what we do know is the main ball carrier is going to be Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey right. Christian McCaffrey left. Christian McCaffrey middle. Christian McCaffrey catching the ball. Get Christian McCaffrey. I'm telling you, he's going to be a phenomenal player. Maybe people have him at number one, number two, number three, somewhere in there. Look, I have Christian McCaffrey at number two. You can't go wrong with him. Number one, my guy, bona fide number one, Derrick Henry. The dude, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. It doesn't matter who's on his team. It doesn't matter if the team, the defense knows that they're going to run the ball. Derrick Henry runs over people. He stiffs on people. He gets the yards. Derrick Henry is my number one, clear number one guy. I would love to have on my team, and he's the number one for the rankings. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. We're going to be coming out with a lot of news in 2023. And if you guys want to make sure that you not only know how to do these rankings, but know how to set them into a perfect type of lineup, just click this video right here. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Click it.